ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of RB Plays Enigmatica 6. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world doing all the cool modded things. My name is RB Plays, your humble host on this side of the screen. Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here. Make sure that you hit the old subscribe button and get notified. Whoops. Get notified every time we go, uh, every time we put new content up on the channel. So yeah, this is episode 40. 40 episodes of Enigmatica 6. How excited are you all for that? I am super excited. Uh, we've done some things. We've done some things in our live streams, and uh, I want to show you one of the things that we did. We actually got started with uh, with the power mod. Uh, whoops, I went the wrong way. I am so lost in my own base right now. It's not even funny, but it's right here. So uh, so we did some things. Um, we've done a lot of different questing updates, right? So if you look at the quest lines, uh, that was something that, I, this is something that I want to look at today. We'll come back to that in a minute. But uh, we've uh, we've done some stuff with power. We've done some stuff with uh, uh, Eidolon. We've done some stuff with Astral Sorcery. We've done all the cool things. One of the things that we did with power was, um, <clears throat> well, we, we built a, we built a nuclear reactor, <laughs> uh, a first level, starter level, basic level reactor, and uh, it's working well. We've got a place that we've got, we got ice in here, we've got coal, we've got redstone. Uh, the only thing that we don't have, uh, unfortunately, is uraninite. Um, uraninite uh, is this stuff right here. It's the stuff that the reactor runs off of. Um, if we just do, uh, just da -da 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 Metallurgy, where, where is it? Um, I, it? It goes right here. Uh, reactor, 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 basic, ta-da, and then uses, ta-da, and uh, solid coolants, and anyway, well, where's the book? The book will explain things better than I can. So anyway, in the book, aha, there we go. So generators, uh, reactor, if you look inside the reactor here, you see that you need uh, uraninite for fuel. I don't know, what I don't know is, will this run on uh, on uranium? Uh, because if it will run on uranium, then that could solve all, uh, all of my problems. So let's take a uranium ingot. And uh, nope, it will not. So it's gotta be uraninite. Uh, and the only way to get uraninite is to uh, is to energize it. Really, you could get it off a centrifuge from a uh, from a bee, which is one way that we're going to get it. Uh, but the other way is is to um, uh, is to put uh, it into this energizer and do basically all of the uranium ingots to get uh, as much uraninite as we can. Um, so one of the things that we did was we uh, we actually found a uh, a couple of uh, uranium bees out in the world. So we've got those in our, uh, in our, in our place up there. And that will, uh, that is giving us a supply of uranium ingots. We're going to need to do some stuff to, to process that. Um, by the way, we, we have totally have a way to process that, but, um, to go along with that, we also are going to need to get a steady supply of uranium ingots. Uh, and I figure what better way to do that than to get some questing done in, uh, industrial fork going. So the one, there's one thing in Industrial Four going that we kind of sort of need, and I don't know if there's a quest for it. There's a black hole controller. There's all of that. Uh, is there a quest in uh, in here that would that would do something with? That's a frosty reactor. My generator uh, doesn't look like it. Uh, the lasers, right? Lasers. I'm doing my best Dr. Evil impression, uh, doing the air quotes, laser. So uh, with lasers, you've got the laser base and you've got the laser drill. Uh, with these laser bases and drills, basically what you can do is with these, you can select a certain color lens, right? And then that certain color lens will, will mine certain things. And there is a lens. Uh, it's actually back here, I think. Nope, not that one. So there, there, that's osmium. That's appetite. There's one for uranium, I think. Yeah, uranium. So with a lime laser lens, um, we have to uh, we have to get uh, we have to get uh, we can we can get uh, uranium chunks, and uranium chunks turns into uranium. And so uh, let's see what we can do with this. I figure we'll just go ahead and put it right here and run it in the same room as the reactor because that should be cool, right? So anyway, uh, the way that this works is you need a laser drill and then you need an ore laser base. I think you just need one of the bases. So uh, we need a diamond pickaxe. So a diamond pickaxe. Should be able to make one of those. Yeah, sure we can. Great. 
Uh, and then uh, back to the, la the laser, the laser. Uh, we get one of these. We just need a couple of gears, right? So a couple of diamond gears. And also we need one of these advanced machine frames. So uh, diamond gears, those should be easy. Diamond gears, whoops, I really wish I could type today. We need two of those, those are on autocraft, so that should be easy enough. Uh, hey, look, they're done already. So there's that and there's that. And then we also need uh, an advanced, uh, advanced, wow, typing is a problem today, uh, an advanced machine frame. Uh, from industrial foregoing. So that's one of those. Start that and go. That one might take a second because that's got to go through um, that's got to go through a process. So this advanced machine frame, it goes into a dissolution chamber that's full of pink slime. And uh, that might take a minute because I don't know. I think I've got a pink slime thing there set up already, but I don't know for sure. Um, I wonder. There it is. Got it. Sweet. So that is the laser or base. And if I'm not mistaken, we can kind of sort of just do that with it. And then each one of these has to go off to a uh, to a laser drill. So the laser drill is going to look like these guys. So laser drills here. So those are three diamond gears. Uh, it's a simple machine frame. We're going to need four of these, right? Uh, and I I think there's, is there something else also that has to go uh, into this to connect it? So the laser drill, uh, laser drill items, uh, I want to say there's a fluid laser, laser base too. We might want to get one of those as well um, because there are some fluids that come from industrial foregoing that we might want as well. But anyway, anyway, let's, let's get four of these. So we need uh, four times three, that's 12. So we need 12 of those and four of those. Uh, so diamond, we need uh, 12, oops, not 20, we need 12, go ahead and start, uh, and then the simple machine frames, we need four of those, cool, uh, and then uh, the laser drills themselves, uh, those are easy enough, we just need pistons and plastic, so if we, as long as we've got eight pistons, we should be fine, right, so piston, uh, craft eight of those, yes, please. And uh, and while that all does its stuff, we'll I'll, I'll come back and I'll assemble that here in a minute. Uh, let's go out into let's go to a couple other places and take a look at some of the things that we have done uh, in the meantime. Um, let's go home for a second. And going home down here, uh, we have like I said, we have the place where we can do uh, some in uh, some in energizing with the energizing ord. Uh, orb, orb, orb from from the power mod, um, and that's how we're going to turn uranium into. Um, that's how we're going to turn uranium into uraninite. So if we just do uranium, uh, give me. I think it's like six. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think it was six of them, right? So get that, and then that one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So if I just take these and go one, two, three, four, five, six. cool. Um, it, you know, it creates your, it creates your ananite. Um, it doesn't like to wait. That's the whole problem with this thing is it doesn't like to wait. But if you look down here, we do have this kind of sort of automated. Uh, we've got a crafter here and it's set up to do uh, all of the crystals save one type. There's one type of crystal that this won't work with very well, but well, we're making progress towards that. We're doing some, a lot of sciencey stuff in the live streams. By the way, if you're not following us over on the live streams over at twitch.tv slash RB underscore plays, you are missing out on all of the sciencey type stuff. Make sure that you follow us over there to see uh, all the science as it happens. Um, but anyway, by putting uranium in here, we get the uraninite and then that gives us uh, power or gives us um, uh, gives us fuel to power the reactor. So now if I go back to the reactor, right, uh, the reactor room, uh, you can see that the reactor is uh, actually running because it got uraninite. And so now it's making power and eventually it's going to stop making power and uh, all of the things are, you know, it's going to do what it, it's going to do what it does. Right. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and get this thing powered up, get this thing built, get it powered up. I'll come back to you guys in a minute and uh, and we'll show you kind of the process that we're going to want to go to to get uranium chunks uh, out of this thing and then how we're going to process it and how we're going to do the, the, 
the stuff with the energizer, the energizing orb as well. So hang tight for just a minute. I'll come back as soon as possible. By the way, I need to apologize to y'all. Life is crazy. I've been so busy. I haven't had time to record anything. So thank you so much for all of you who have been patient with me up until now. It means so, so much to me. <sighs> RB is tired. RB is tired. That's all I can say. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. And now it's time for science with RB. Uh, normally we do science in the live streams, but we're going to do science here today. So I've got the uh, I've got the laser drills and I've got them set up in such a way that I believe that they are going to work just fine. Uh, we do need to provide power to them. Um, I think I need to provide power to each one of these. So here's what we're going to do. I have uh, in on AutoCraft, we have uh, entangle porters set up so that we can craft them anytime we need them. So uh, let's go ahead and grab, whoops, let's go ahead and grab the Entangle Porter that I just had uh, go ahead and get crafted. And if I do that, uh, and I do that, and that, and does that give this power? It does not. It does not. So we need to give this power. Uh, so let's go this way, let's go here. Those are set to be inputs. I want them to be outputs. That's uh, that's the top, though. I don't want the top to be output. I don't want the top to be anything. I want the sides. So that's the front. That's the left. That's the right. And that's the back. So let's go ahead and set that to output. Set that to output. That's an output. Set that to output. And then set this to none. And then if we get some power cables, uh, universal cables, some of these. If we get some of these, that should power this thing, right? So, ta-da. No. Why do you not why do you not have power? Why do you no have power? You do have power. Ultimate universal cable. Yeah. Why do you no have power? You no have power. Um. Hmm. That does not have any power. Did I set something up wrong here? Hold on. <laughs> There's that. Uh, output, 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 output. Aha, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Eject. Powered. Yeah, it's powered now. Cool. And that's powered. And that's powered. And uh, there's no uh, there's no lenses in any of these, so it's not going to do... Uh, it's not going to do anything just yet. So what we need to do now is we actually need to make some lenses. So to make the lenses, we need the lime lenses. Uh, lime lens. Uh, the lime lens takes a uh, takes five pieces of glass. So glass pane. So one, two, three. Oh, sorry, four pieces of glass pane and a uh, a piece of lime dye. So what we will do, and also some latex. What we'll do is we'll grab some panes. Uh, so pain uh, times four. So four times four is 16. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, you know what? Just do it like this. Like that. So that's 16. And then we see, need some lime dye. I made some of those already. So we'll, great. We'll take those. And, uh, and then let's go upstairs to the home sweet home. Uh, and then go over here. Go all the way down here. And we'll go up to our dissolution chambers. Because I've got one that's full of latex. And we should be able to process those like right now. They're like right here. This one here has pink slime. This one here has essence. This one has latex. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, four of those plus one of those. And that should give us... Yeah, I think it did. So uh, go ahead and uh, do one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, you can only do one of those at a time. Great. That's fancy. So it'll only take one at a time. That's unfortunate. Um, but that's OK, though. One, two, three, four of those plus one of those. Cool. And I might be able to shift click this one in here now. I don't know for sure. We'll see. Yes, I can. And there we go. OK, so that should give us Lime lenses. There's three of them. We're waiting on one more. There's four. Cool. Oh, it doesn't give us all. Oh, they don't stack. Well, that's fine. That's fine. They don't have to stack. It's okay. It's all right. It's fine. 
Uh, anyway, let's go back over here. We'll go back downstairs, we'll put these lenses in and see if that actually does what we think it's supposed to do, which means that we should get uh, we should get uranium out of this. Now it does say that for uranium, uh, uranium, uranium, uh, it does say that for uranium chunks, it needs to be uh, Y level minimum five, maximum of 29. So I went ahead and did the minimum, which is five. And that's why the that's why that was where it was down here in the uh, in the bowels of death death and dismemberment. Um, so we'll see if this actually does the thing. Uh, do I need? Did I need um? Did I need five? Did I need four of these? I don't know if I needed four of these or not. I don't even know where they go. Where do they go? Uses. They go in the laser drill. Okay. I think that's where they go. Not the not the base, just here. Nope, doesn't go there. Oh, look at that, we're getting stuff. Oh, look at that. So we got mana chunks, we got iron chunks. That's cool. Now, from what I remember, these things are super slow, like super slow. There should be speed upgrades that we can get for this. So uh, add-ons. We need a speed tier two add-on, yes please. I think we can make that work. If we can make that work, then that will help to uh, make this process go just a little bit faster, right? So there's a speed add-on. I don't think we can do range add-ons. Nope, that doesn't seem to go to go there. Does it go, can it go here? It can go there. Ah, so we need four of those. Does that seem to help? It does. We got an osmium chunk, so that's cool. Lime lenses, cool. Get three more speed add-ons. Tier two variety, that is. So I made all of these lime lenses and I didn't need them. That's unfortunate. We can put that one there now. We can put one there. And, oh, last one, perfect timing. And we can put one right there, right? So now we got fluorite, we got osmium, we got iron, we got mana. So what we got to do now is we got to figure out a way to send these back to our uh, back to the base for processing. Um, all of this, all of this iron and mana and stuff like that, it should be processed fairly quickly. Uh, I don't see mana chunks here, so I don't think I have a. I don't think I've ever mined any of. Well, I mean I know I've mined them, but I don't think I've had to process them. Uh, iron chunks. I have those turned off. I think. Let's make sure of that. Pretty sure. Uh, we'll just go. No, nope, we'll just go this way. I'm pretty sure I've got those turned off. Let's go make sure. And uh, and then once we know whether those are turned off, we'll know if we uh, if we have to do something special to get that going again. That should just be right up here. Uh, is that here? No, it's not here. Um, that's over here. My base has gotten so big, I don't know where anything is. I think that's a good problem to have, but I'm not sure. So up here. Right. Nope, not this floor. Must be one more. So right here. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, so this is where we've got our stuff set up to auto process. Yeah, see, I've got iron turned off. So give me an iron ore chunk and go right here and set that up like that. And that should be exporting iron. Cool. Now we just need to go back down to just need to go back down to the to the mines there and see what we can come up with uranium wise. Uh, reactor room. Okay, so we're getting mana, we're getting iron, we're getting osmium, we're getting fluorite, we're getting diamond chunks, we're getting cinnabar chunks, we're getting all the stuff we have not yet gotten. We have not yet gotten. Uh, any uh, any uranium. So lime lens, lime lens uses.
Really, that's the only thing that the Lime Lens is supposed to get is uranium chunks. And yet we are getting more than uranium chunks out of that. Does that, I guess the question then becomes, does that really give you that much more, um, does that really help you, you know? Hmm. At any rate, what we got to do next is we have to output this stuff. Uh, whoops. Hello? Where is it? There it is. Got it. Okay. We have to output this stuff to some kind of chest. Uh, what I could do, what I could do is this does items as well. So what we might want to do here is for transport config, we want to pull in from the bottom. Bottom. I think that's what we want to do. Strict input on, strict input off. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, this is what I want. Close. Close. None. Okay, now, uh, input on the bottom, cool, that's fine. The only problem that I'm not aware of at the moment is, do I need some kind of, I, I must need some kind of, yeah, well, there's uranium. We did get some uranium, okay, cool. Um, I think we might need to, I think we might need to break this and then put it up one higher and use a, so put that there, set this for RV power. Yes, uh, side configs for power, that should be set up just fine. Let's get the power connected again. So there, 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 and the, there. And then we're just gonna need an item. I think just need an item, like a logistics pipe, right? And logistics pipe might, should, I would think should, uh, make this go a little bit, or should work a little bit, right? I would hope. So if I do a logistics pipe right there, and where's my configurator? Uh, B. Configurator? Configurator, there it is. Pull items out. Did that work? No. That's not working. Oh wait, maybe this has got to be side config. Uh, bottom, bottom is input. Hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Might have to do some science on this. Let me uh, let me see if I can figure out what. Oh wait, hold on. Do I have to do? Do I have to set this up for item transfer? Hmm, give me just a minute. I'll see what I can find out. Okay, so a couple of things about the old uh, Entangelo Porter. Uh, the Entangelo Porter is kind of weird in that I can't seem to get, although it is showing that it has items in its inventory. Uh, how does it have items in its inventory and how do I get them out? Um, anyway, uh, um, anyway, what I did was I went ahead and I used an ender chest because I really, unfortunately, I just don't have time to figure out why this thing is doing what it's doing. Um, but yeah, so, so I went ahead and used a, uh, an ender chest and then down here, uh, I have the other end of that ender chest. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and do an import bus right there. So that'll start pulling those items in. And it'll pull into this network receiver, which will which is linked back up upstairs to the uh, to the overall network. So if we go in here and we look at chunks, you can see that we're actually getting uh, some of these chunks, including uranium chunks, which we're going to have to process those real quick. So how do we process uh, uranium chunks? Um, uranium trunk trunks uranium chunks can be processed in 
either an enrichment chamber to get uh, uranium dust, or uh, we could just put it into some kind of smelter. But I think we want to put it into, uh, I think we definitely want to put it into uh, some kind of smelter. But then we also want to take that uranium, once we get the uranium ingots, and we want to turn the uranium ingots into uh, uraninite, right? Uh, that's going to be this stuff right here. And we do that, like we said, through uh, through energizing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a recipe that is one piece of uranium equals one piece of uraninite. Uh, I'm also going to take a crafter card. Uh, crafter card, which is this one, crafting upgrade. Yes, please. So crafting upgrade. And we're going to stick that right in here. Right so basically, if it needs anything from this, then uh, then it will automatically try and do that. So what we need to do now is we need to go upstairs. So go to our home sweet home and go up here. And we should be able to set up a recipe right here uh, for a piece of uranium. Piece of uranium. Uh, it'll be a processing recipe. So a piece of uranium, like so. Uh, I think what I want to do is I need to make, I need to take this and not let it export. So let me go ahead and break this for a second because I need to be able to, uh, to get this item back out, uh, without it going down to the, down to the depth. Hey, look, that did a, that did exactly what I wanted it to. Sweet. So that gives me that, that gives me that. We'll put that back. And then we'll come back over here. We'll make this recipe up, right? So U equals U. Cool. Uh, we can go ahead and do that. We can go ahead and do that. We can put U in there. Uraninite. Okay. Definitely not making any... Oh, we have blocks of uraninite. We should probably break those down real quick. Because that's uh, that's that's important stuff. Okay, and then we can put those in there, and those should get exported. Yes, they are. They're getting exported. Cool. And then uh, we should be able to put this. Uh, if we just go here, into our uh, into our appropriate. It's not the. It's not a crafter. It's a item router. It's this one. So we should be able to put that in there. And then basically what will happen is if we go back up here and go back downstairs to the reactor room, um, this thing should be full of uranium almost. It's working on it. Uh, if I take that out of there and that out of there, it should still be filling. It is because it is crafting uh, uraninite. So let's go back to home sweet home. Let's go back down here. And if we go over this way, yeah, cool. So it's going to, it's just going to automatically make uraninite to, uh, to fill in, uh, to fill in what it's trying to fill in. And, uh, and then it should be, uh, it should be fine. Um, the problem that we're going to run into with that, I think, yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. So basically, this thing is only gonna is only gonna craft those when it needs it. Um, I've got the item router set up to only allow one item to go in at a time. Uh, so basically, once the crafter is once the once the reactor is full, it should stop automatically crafting stuff here. So that should be fine. Um, if we run into any snags, we'll uh, we'll overcome that as time goes by. But I think I think that's a functioning system. So now we know how to get. Uh, uranium. Now we just need to automatically export over here. Do I have uh, uranium chunks? I have a uranium chunk right there, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll go up here. Oh, there we go. So we'll go up here and we'll export this automatically, and that should turn that into uranium. And uh, I think that's a fully functioning system, right? Come in here and go over here and you that's a uranium chunk that's a uranium chunk oh it's gonna it's already set up to do uranium chunks but there's so much iron to process that um 
that the uranium is falling behind a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do that. That should turn off the uh, uranium or uraninite process because now we have plenty of uraninite in the system and it should automatically fill. Uh, it should only craft that stuff when it needs to uh, fulfill the request from the reactor. But I think, I think that's going to just about do it for today. Um, you are no longer crafting. You are no longer crafting because we have lots of uraninite in the system. And there is a zombie over here. And there must be a dark spot because, hello, zombie. Hi. You're dead. Um, yeah, that's a good. I think we're good. I think we've made it. I think we've done a good things. Folks, that is all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being patient. Um, if you enjoyed it, if you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff. We'll chat about it in kind. Don't forget to stop by our Discord server where we're we'll talking about all things life, all things gaming, and all things Minecraft. Once again, folks, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that we have live streams every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday over on twitch.tv slash rb underscore plays where we do all the sciencey stuff and uh, all, the, all the questing stuff and all that. And you are more than welcome to come and hang out with us. But that is all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.